cannot thank Allah enough for doing this. Uh, keep us in your prayers, keep us in your du'as, keep telling people, Meme Phi Ge Kolan King, yeah, Meme Phi Ge Chubin Thai. Free information, brother. Need a Quran? Here, take it. Free Before Quran. Quran. Now, let me tell you something. When you read this, yeah. make sure this is in simple English. That's the first thing, okay? If you look at the back, if you look at the back here, you can see we're here. It also has a short biography of Prophet Muhammad. Do you know? Any, do you know anything about Prophet Muhammad? No. Do you know anything about Islam? Yeah, I know Islam. You know. You know what is Islam? What is Islam? What do you know about Islam? If you don't mind me asking, what do you know so far? I don't. Don't know much. Okay. So let me just give you a quick introduction about Islam, and then you can read this in your own time. Okay. okay. So what we believe is that we believe that. Do you believe in God? Let me ask you this first I of all. In the God. You believe in God. Okay, that's good. So we believe that. Of course, we believe in God. Okay. But we believe that there is one God. Do you believe there's one God? Or do you believe there's more than one God? I believe. Actually, I don't know how many. You don't know. Okay, very good. That's fine. Honesty is very good. Okay. So we believe that in Islam, that there can only be one God. Why? Because if there was more than one God, if there was more than one God, what will happen is the gods may start fighting. Right? I want to build something here. They said, no, I want to build something here. Right? So we believe that logic, if you just use your logic, it can only be like, for example, in a school, how many principles are there? Uh, two. How many principles? Principle. One. Okay. In a, for example, a country, how many presidents are there? President, you know the president, the leader. How many leader? Who's the, the president in the USA? Donald Trump. One or more than one? One. I Only one, right? So you can see the system. Can you see in a business, any business? How many leader? The CEO. You know what's a CEO? Yeah, so many. No, no, no. The C in one business. Oh, chief executive. Officer. Exactly. How many? Only one. Only one again. Why? Because if there's more than one, what will happen? There will be disagreement, yeah. fighting. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah, I understand. So that's why God says in the Quran that if there was more than one God, there will be difficulty. You know, people were doing different things. Do you understand what I mean, brother? Yeah, right? So that's why if you read every religious book, they will tell you there's only one God. There's only one God. Okay? I'll just read something to you right now. If I can just do it right now. Uh, it's on the last chapter. If you really want to know who is God, right? Simple one is Surat Al Ikhlas. This one. Look, he says, Say he is God who is one. God, the eternal refugee. Refugee means someone who doesn't need anyone. Understand? Who doesn't need anyone. Sorry. Right? He neither begets nor is he born. Understand? Nobody can forget him. And he cannot forget things because he's God and he's not born. You can, you know, God cannot be born. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Do you understand what I mean? yeah. Right? And, and this is very important, nor is there to him any equivalent. Meaning, there's nothing like him. Do you understand what I mean, bro? There's nothing like him. Which means what? There's only one God. You understand? Now, once we believe there is a God, once we believe there is a God, what do we have to do then? We have to know what does God want us to do? You want to listen as well, right? You know, we need to understand what does God want us to do? You understand what I mean? Because, you know, as people, we have different things. You like something different, I like something different. You understand what I mean? So, mankind can make different rules. Like, for example, let me give you an example. Being gay. Homosexuality. 50 years ago, was not allowed everywhere being gay was not allowed law it was not allowed but now what happened it's being allowed gay marriages so what happens is people's mind can change so we need to have something from God to tell us how should we live this life do you think that's needed like for example this iPhone when you make the iPhone do we have an instruction manual? You know, we need a book to tell us how to make this work. Do you understand what I mean, brother? Right? Same as us. You know, if God has made me, if God has made you, He needs to tell me and you and everyone else, how should I live this life? 
Do you understand what I mean? Yeah, I understand. Because if God has made you, He needs to tell you. Do you think that's true? If God has made you, do you not think it's correct that God should tell you and everyone else how we should live this life? Because if we just live this life by our own, you know, desires, then we will just choose what we want to choose. Like homosexuality, I tell you. You know, some people like to steal. Because the thing is okay. Some people like to lie. The thing is okay. You understand what I mean? But is it really okay? Of course not. And God will tell you that. So that's why God sent revelations. Like the Quran. Like the Bible. Do you understand what I mean? And like other scriptures that were sent by God to who? To the messengers. You can see we're here. Abraham, Adam, Jesus, Moses, Muhammad. And more messengers, more than that. 124,000 messengers were chosen by God. Okay? To do this. You can read that as well, no problem. But it's also over here as well. Short biography. If you want, you can also take this. If you don't want to, before you read that, you can read this as well if you want. This is a short book of uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But what I'm trying to tell you, brother, is that, you know, Islam is very simple. You know, Islam came to tell mankind, number one, who made you? Number two, how, uh, uh, how should we, what does he want from you? Okay. Number three, how to connect to him. And number four, what should we do in this world? What is the purpose of life? You know, if I ask you, what is the purpose of life? What will you say? Mm, I don't like do you know what is purpose? The goal. What is the goal of life? Why are we here? Did you choose to be born? No. no. Nobody chooses when to be born. <laughs> are you? I think you're Nepali. Are you Nepali? Yeah. yeah Did you choose to be born Nepali? No. No. Did I choose to be born Pakistani? No way. Did you no. get choose your parents? No. Did I choose my parents? No way. We are just born, right? But what we do have a choice is about how we live our life. You know, you were walking. You can choose to keep walking. But you chose to come and get this. Do you understand what I mean? This is a choice you made. Do you understand what I mean? I so the choice has been given to everyone by God. That you choose what you have to do. You know? And after you choose, you have to read. You have to get knowledge. You know? And once you get knowledge, then you will understand, look, this is not something which is man-made. You know, for example, I'll give you, take this as well. Yes, science and Islam. You know, a lot of people think that Islam is just, you know, old religion. You know, they think, oh, it's not for today's world. You know, a lot of people don't like religion because of this. They say we want to live in a modern society. You know, we want science, science, science. Everything is science, you know. But in Islam, there is science. You know, I can keep talking and talking, but can you understand what I've told you so far? Yeah. That why is it, you know, Islam is, it's just really simple. You know, one God, one message. But I want to understand. Sure. Uh, it has uh, so many gods, like a Jesus and then the, so no, many. No, they're not gods. They're prophets. Prophets. Messengers. You know, people have made them God. Yeah. You know, the, like, like we say here, look, I love Jesus because I'm a Muslim. But in Islam, Jesus is not God. In Islam, Allah says in the Quran that Jesus was a prophet, was a man chosen by Allah. Have you heard of the name Allah before? Allah, right? What does Allah mean? The God. That's it. Do you understand what I mean? Al means the in English. Ilah means God. So Allah means the God. You understand? So many people have made men into gods. But they never said, pray to me. You know, if you read the Bible, Jesus never said, pray to me. Jesus said, pray to him. Jesus said, worship him. Yeah, you, know? I'm right. you understand what I mean? Yeah, I understand. He said, follow me, but worship him. You understand? And that's what God says in the Quran. He says, if you love me, follow my messenger. Obey my messenger. And the final messenger is who? Muhammad. Peace be upon him. He was the last man chosen by God to, you know, to, to spread this message of the Quran. And you know, the Quran is the only book, as you can read here, it has never been changed. 
never been changed. Zero contradiction. Do you know what is contradiction? Meaning, in one place it says something, and in another place it says something oh, else. Right? And it, whoa, whoa, you know? But in this book, there's no contradiction. You know, this book in Arabic, not in English, of course, in Arabic, it was revealed by God to Muhammad over 23 years. 23 years. This book was revealed according to what was going on in the, in the world. And in 23 years, there was no contradiction. You know what I mean? So that's why, you know, these are just some examples for us to know that this is a miracle. That this is the book of God. You know what I mean, brother? Any other questions in your mind going on? Um, I believe that the life is just like a competition, yeah? Okay. And you have to, you know, we have to still we have to pray and pray to the God many times. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Because sometimes the God uh, is not here, then we will be upset. Many of them will be upset and they think that yeah. the God is not. I understand. I understand. So, you know, for that, you know, <laughs> Even as Muslims, you know, many people who are going through difficult times. You know, everybody goes through difficult times. You know, life is not easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Allah says in the Quran that this life is a test. It's a test. Right? To see who will keep doing the good and who will stay away from the bad. You know, we can't always have happiness. Sometimes we need sadness. You know, to make us thankful. For the happiness you know what i mean because now you are walking maybe oh i hope nothing happens to you maybe tomorrow something happened to you then you'll remember ah i used to be able to walk you know what i mean so it's to make you thankful and that is a very very important message in islam that we have to we have to we have to understand that god allah says in the quran actually he says i never Burden. Do you know what is burden? Pressure. Do you know what is pressure? Right? Allah says in the Quran, He says, I never put pressure on anyone more than he can take. Do you understand what I just said? Right? He does not want to put too much pressure on you. But He is giving us tests. That this life is a test. You know? But the most important thing about this life is to believe that there is a God. That's the most important thing. Why? Because He made you and me. You know, my mommy and daddy did not make me. Your mommy and daddy did not make you. You know what I mean? Yeah, I understand. You know, when you were in your mommy's tummy, she did not decide what color eyes she wants, what nose. Who decide that? Who made you? God. You know? And one day you will go back to Him. We will all go back to Him. You know what I mean? So it's important that we understand that this life will end one day. And when, we, when this life ends, God will ask us, how did you live this life? You understand? So please read this. If you have any more questions, you use Facebook? Okay, great. So we are on Facebook. Okay, we're also on Instagram, Twitter and everything else. So if you have any more questions, I am the one who is running the page for Muslim Council of Hong Kong. We are Muslim Council of Hong Kong. Okay? So you can contact me. When you're reading this, reading this, if there's any more question, you can ask me. But one thing I want to say before you leave is, when you read this, and if you believe this is the truth, and you think Islam is the truth, accept it. Understand? Yeah. Don't think about what your parents will say, or what your friends will say. Because why? One day you will die, and you will be alone. I will be alone. Everybody will be alone. You know, your parents and family don't stay with you forever. You came in this world alone, you will leave this world alone. Do you agree with that? Agree. Yeah? So it's up to us. You know when you want to do a job, what do you do? You try, careful, you try to find yourself. When you want to study, what do you do? Work hard. You work hard and you try to find something yourself. Right? Do you, do you just follow what your parents tell you? No. no, you choose yourself. So what about the most important thing? which is the purpose. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. Right? So please read it. And any questions, yeah. comments and uh, chat to yeah. us. Okay? okay? Thank you for stopping by. Mm -hmm. I hope you understand more now. Yeah? yeah? And you believe why, you know, that this religion is, it's, it makes sense. 
you know that we don't believe Jesus is God we don't believe Muhammad is God God is just God they were just men they were chosen men to tell us how to live this life that's it all right okay. thank you for stopping thank by you thank you no problem